welcome, my beautiful heroes. Hello, hello. Happy, what is it, Tuesday. Um, okay, here's the thing. Fizz said rings don't plug holes. True. I said rings are pretty. True. Fizz said dicks are prettier. I said no. Hmm. Rings are useless? No, they aren't. They're shiny baubles that attract the ladies like a peacock feather. I feel like those things are so different that you shouldn't be able to compare them. I agree. It makes any punch thrown more painful. <laughs> I mean, that's that's one thing to consider about rings. Yeah, sure. Um. Okay. Hi, hello. Welcome. Um. I don't know that I would describe dicks as pretty, though. Like, maybe... Not, glamorous isn't the right word, either. Mmm... Hold on, let's look up synonyms for pretty. Because I can't word today. Attractive. Depending. Satisfactory. Passable. Ooh, maybe not. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Prink? Prink, preen, or primp? Prink is a word. Interesting. Preen or primp, yeah. I would give it that definition because it's it's how the human species attracts a mate, right? They must make desk drumming better. You wouldn't want to do that with a nice ring though. That's how you like dent shit. Okay, I, 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 I would maybe give it the preen or the primp. I don't know that I would call it pretty. I think rings aren't pretty either. I think they're shiny and sparkly. So there, you can't even compare them. They each get their own respective adjective. That's how I, that's how I diffuse that. <laughs> with rings or dicks? Wait, what are you finger drumming with? What? I thought, I thought we were finger drumming with rings. I don't finger drum with dicks. Um, let's see, we got one new one, three empty ones, two new ones, two empty ones, one new one, two empty ones. So it looks like we need to do more with these boys. Or wait, maybe, hmm. <laughs> Did I confuse the situation as usual? Probably. Um. Zero is talking to the little kid. Oh, I kind of want to know what this is about. Uh -huh. Oh, this looks like him figuring out the password we'd need for that box. Let's see, this one has mirrored dead on a table. Oh, that one yeah. sounds good. Jara, thank you for the resub. Happy two months coming in with a scream. Is it okay? Are, do you have bees on your end? Is your house invaded by bees? Not the bees. I don't finger drum with dicks. Thank you, Julie. God. <laughs> uh, you didn't post a schedule. I thought I did. Did I not? Oh, it. Uh, I didn't do it on Discord, I guess. I only did it on Twitter. Oopsie. Let me hear it. Hold on. Do, 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 do. For those of you who don't know my schedule, there was nothing yesterday. There's a stream today. Uh, there's a stream tomorrow. And there's a stream Saturday. Uh, it's all still in Discord. Even if you don't look at Twitter, the tweets get put into Discord under Twitter. Uh, and then I usually just copy-paste it into the schedule, which I forgot to do, so there it is. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's today, tomorrow, and Saturday. Um, so, would you guys like story time? Who here wants story time? Because I had the adventure of a lifetime yesterday. And I say that sarcastically because it was an awful experience. <laughs> it's not about toes. It's not about toes. It's about cracked out homeless men on cocaine. At least that's all I can assume. So Boggs and I went to Renfest yesterday. And um, nothing happened there. Uneventful. We were there from like 1130 in the morning till when they closed at like 6. Great experience. la di da Happy day. On the way home, because um, we had to drive so far to Renfest, on the way home, on the way back, we could stop at one of my favorite bookstores that's usually like a, a drive, 
right? But we're like, oh, it's like on the way home this time. Let's just stop by this bookstore. So we stopped by the bookstore, and um, at this point, it's kind of late in the day, and uh, Boggs realizes that there's a, a footlocker next door, and he has wanted some new shoes, and that proved to be very true at RenFest, because walking around all day, his shoes are shit, and they got really muddy. <laughs> so he was like, okay, I'm going to go look at new shoes. You go look at books. We'll reconvene, and then we have to take off, because you know we have to take care of the dog. And I was like, okay, cool. So he left me alone at this bookstore. And, like, the bookstore, the way it's designed, it's, like, got dead-end aisles. So they just kind of, like, have chunks of sections, right? Um, and so I was, like, in one of these aisles. And this dude comes up to me and, like, blocks off the end of the aisle. And he goes, I'm not going to trap you in this aisle. I just want you to know, like, I'm Keith Rawson, and I just want you to slap me on the wrist if, you know, I like my ex-wife used to slap me on the wrist all the time and like, you just slap me, you say, Keith, you know, I, I don't want that and, and, and I'll go on my way. But, you know, Kylie Jenner, you know, Kylie Jenner. And I was like, one of the Kardashians. I was like, sorry, I don't watch shit TV. Like, I don't know anything about her. He's like, I don't watch shit TV. Anybody. Did you know she wrote a book? She wrote a book. She's very intelligent. She wrote this book. And uh, I want to show you this book. I think I think you would love this book. I want you to read this book. He's like, let's go. I'll, f I'll come come with me and I'll, I'll, I'll find it for you. And I was like, okay, sure. Fucking 45 minutes later of this dude talking and not shutting up. It was constantly just like, uh, I, my wife is like Mar Marilyn Monroe. You know, like Marilyn Monroe. I, she's my wife. She's my wife. She's at the spaghetti factory right now. I'm going to go meet her. She's my wife. Don't read that book. That book is shit. That author is a piece of shit. Oh, but you should read this book over here. This one's a really good book. Uh, I really like this book. The whole time, the whole time, this dude had something stuck in his beard. And I was just staring at it like, okay, is that skin? Or is that like a flake off of a cinnamon roll? What is that? And then... He also, like, smelled like trash, right? Like, was not clean. His clothes were kind of dirty. Um, but I very kindly just, like, went around this bookstore with him for 45 minutes listening to him ramble. He was like, oh, I know the whole Stephen King family. I know the whole family. Their, their son, he gives me shit all the time. And, and I own SoundCloud, and I'm worth $1.5 million. And I, I, you know, I love to do charitable work. My wife, Marilyn Monroe, she's out doing charity right now. And I'm, I'm going to go meet Stephen King's wife tomorrow. And Kylie Jenner, she's coming down, and we're going to have lunch together. And I was like, is this dude, like, fucking crazy, like, off his rocker? Like... <laughs> What is going through his mind? He just lives in this world where he's, he's filled with celebrities. So eventually, Boggs came back and, and he found me with this dude just rambling. And he goes, oh, oh I'm, not, I'm not trying to hit on your wife. I'm not trying to hit on your wife. You know, I'm just showing her all these books. And she's not going to buy all those books, but she should try those books. These are the books I recommend. He's like talking a mile a minute, never shuts up. You never get a word in. And uh, <laughs> Boggs is just like, we, we need to go. We, we need to go. And he, like, tries to, like, give me an out. Dude doesn't stop. He's like, I'm going to go ask the front desk if they could help me find help me find this book for you. He leaves, right? And Boggs and I are like, okay, this is our chance. Like, maybe, like, what should we do with all these books he just fucking threw in my basket? Like, I don't know. I don't know what we should do with these. And he was like, we'll just take him to the front desk. Dude comes back with another girl. Like, another girl that he had kidnapped from a different place in this bookstore. He has her phone and he's like, okay, all right, like here, this girl looked up Kylie Jenner. This is this is Kylie Jenner. This is my wife. She's, she was wearing that outfit yesterday. He's like scrolling through Google photos of Kylie Jenner. And this poor girl is like this innocent, shy, book loving bean. And I give her like the, oh no girl eyes. I was like, oh no, I'm so sorry. You got caught, didn't you? I think he, I don't know if he like collects girls to like go kidnap them or like, I don't know what he, I don't know what he was trying to do, honestly. So, uh, Boggs and I kind of like, we were kind of like, okay, we could leave, but like now he has this other girl. We can't just ditch her, this poor thing. Like we can't just abandon this strange girl. Like she would never be able to get away. So, um, eventually an employee, bless his heart, comes up and he's like, do you guys need help finding something? And the guy turns to him, he's like, oh no, we're just looking, we're just looking at books. And I looked at the employer, I said, mm-mm. <laughs> and I gave him like the fucking help me eyes. And um, the, the guy and the employee like go back and forth for a while and the guy goes, okay, 
it is you. You, We've gotten complaints about you before. We need you to leave. You've been banned from this bookstore before. You need to go. And, like, manages to get this guy to leave. And the whole, the guy's like, yes, yes, I love rejection. Thank you. You know, I love failure. This is great. I'm going to, you know, and, like, leaves, like, happy as a clam. And I'm like, what drugs is this man on? And later Boggs tells me that when he walked into the store, he overheard the employees uh, talking and they were like, oh, do we need to help her? Like, does she need to get away or is she, is she okay right now? Or is she just like nice, kindly talking to him? And he had no idea. They were talking about me. The employees were like having a powwow on how to rescue me from this man. <laughs> and eventually the other girl too, right? It was, and then as we were leaving the store... Um, and they gave me a coupon too, because they said that they felt bad that I was harassed. Um, and then as we were leaving the store, he was over at like Foot Locker next door harassing other people. I don't, I don't even know what this man was and I didn't ask for it and it stole like 40 minutes of my life and now I've told you and it's stolen 12 minutes of yours. But, um, hell yeah, timeline action, my favorite. Welcome, Stacey. You just missed the crazy story about the... He had to have been, like, a crazy homeless man. Not, like, because you harassed... Not because harassed you, but, like, what must have been in his brain to... Yeah, yeah, like, what must have been in his brain for him to live like that? I, oh, it blew my mind. Hot hinge door animation action is the best action. You don't like timeline action? You don't like story action? Yeah, he doesn't really know what's going on. He didn't really know uh, that it wasn't normal. You think so? I could probably see that. And what was weird about it, too, is the guy almost seemed to know a lot about books because he would pick up a book and, like, talk about the author, but, like, not in a way that gave away, like, he'd be like, oh, this guy, he's great. I've read him. He's really amazing. And But he would never, like, give away, like, details that made you know that he knew what he was talking about if that makes any sense classic schizophrenia really i did not know that i thought that that was mostly auditory visual hallucinations sort of deal he was very happy if that makes you guys feel better and i was never mean to him but oh my god it was an adventure Somewhere there's a guy in there and he doesn't think he has any idea what, what it's like from this side. Oh, I guess I could see. I could see that. Bubble Girl story time, a second close, followed by timeline splooting action. Splooting. Oh, like when it gets longer. Yeah. Okay. So now that story time's over, that was my day yesterday. It was very eventful. Renfest was amazing, though. Did enjoy. Top notch. Um... Got to see jousting. My night lost, unfortunately. Ambidex. Oh, God. All right. Mm. Oh, and I got reactor. this teacup there. Isn't it cute? This nuclear reactor automatically supplies electricity for years without any extra input. How that's you know great. That? I read it in the manual that's right over there. Well, you... <laughs> You don't think Zero plans to lock us in this shelter for years and years, do you? That's not funny. It's pointless. I checked it already. Damn. That means we're trapped. I guess we just woke up in this room. I don't know what's going on. It's the new year. Okay, this, this years is, is their New, new Year's born. scenario. No, they already had their New Year's scenario. Time. Couldn't wish your happy new year. I don't know. This is the worst year ever. Is she your girlfriend? No. She's my little sister. I'm doing well, Paladin. How are you? I fell ill ten years ago and was admitted to the hospital. Time by vampire encounters. That's the best there. way to describe so, it. So I always stop by after work. No, today was uneventful. Oh, that was um, yesterday. That's every good morning and good night was so important to us and now oh that's right <laughs> happy new year junpei what 
What's with you all of a sudden? I've wanted to say that to you for ten years. But I couldn't. He does. He looks stoned. You say it now, but... I, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to say. At least give her a proper response. You're her boyfriend, right? No, I am not. She's... She's just a childhood friend. Really? And here I thought you were dating. Carlos. Whoops. I'm sorry if I made things awkward. Carlos. I just wanted to learn how you guys were connected. The, you know, the best way to build teamwork is to know who your partners are. We're connected via oh, our like souls, Carlos. Yeah. <sighs> well, leave it at that now. <laughs> Carlos is shipping okay, them super hard. Around here like this forever. I mean, aren't we all? Let's find a way out. We had enough snow to make the roads crappy because of bad drivers, but not enough to cancel work. That is the worst because that's also super dangerous. I'm glad that you made it to and from, uh, or I hope that you make it to and from work safely, Paladin. That blows. Um, shiny? Oh yeah, we got some matches. I was gonna say something. In regards to something. Oh, today was uneventful. And despite the time vampire, I actually got lots of good books at that uh, bookstore and they were having a sale that we didn't know about. So hell yeah. <laughs> uh, live in Georgia where they have two snow plows in the whole state. Yeah, or uh, in Oregon where they don't actually salt the roads when it snows. They just kind of like let it happen and then they're like, we aren't equipped to deal with this. We don't get snow. And then you're like, obviously you do. You need to do something about this. And then you have to just drive in snow everywhere. Snow and ice. Okay, no, no water for us. Oh, okay. I did something there. Is this room like frosty cold? What is going on? We turn this. It's frozen. Okay, so it is cold in here. Let's touch this knobby. Do some of that. Oh, nope. Uh, okie dokie. What is this? There's a drain. Okay, we're just gonna cover that up. Didn't need in there. I should probably be glad we didn't end up getting snow because we've got all these Californians who move here and don't know how to drive in snow. Oh, yeah. Yep, that too. Mm-hmm. Oh, this doesn't look good. Oh, no, wait. No, it's fine. I thought maybe it was broken. What is it? What, what even is this? What, what even is this room? <laughs> how do we get the power on? Everything needs power. Can we beep boop a button? Beep boop. No. Okay, of course not. What's this? Beep boop. Pull the lever. Wrong lever. When my grandpa died, I had to drive his car. Oh, I remember you telling us about that, Jorah. I remember you telling us about that. I'm glad that you uh, made it to and from that safely and were able to attend his funeral. How do we open this? Yeah, do that. Touch this thing. No? I don't know what I'm doing. It would probably help if I read the dialogue, but I'm lazy. So, can we turn, touch this thing? Touch this thing? No. Touch this thing. Okay, I touched that thing. Touch this thing? If we were meant to read the dialogue, it would be voice acted. Yep. Mm-hmm. Precisely. Beep boop. I don't know what any of this does, and all I have are some fucking matches. Okay. If I have matches, maybe there's, like, a, a furnace-type deal around here somewhere. Can I get in anywhere? Hmm. What about this box? Oh, that has a fire extinguisher in it. That did nothing. Still locked, okay. What about this? Touch this one. Yeah, touch that one. Yeah, green, green's good. More green, more touching. I'll close this one. Yeah, I'll piece this back together. It's like somebody came in here and just had a shit fit and broke everything. 
What? Okay. Nothing really happens. Still, it's dangerous, so let's leave it off. What is this for? The power switch for the exposed wires. Okay. Now we light the gas. Uh, um, I guess that's probably like the door we're trying to get out. Power for the exposed wires. Um, that's green. We tried turning this one, didn't we? Hmm. Okie dokie. You know what time it is. Cheating time. Uh, walk through. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, this is C-Team. This is the power room, I'm assuming. Let's see. Put the two drink covers in place. Check. Turn the valve on the leftmost or rightmost yellow box, but not the box in the middle. Leftmost and rightmost. Okay, we got the leftmost and the right. Yep, check. Uh, near the middle of the room, you will find a power distribution panel. Okay. Um, no? Maybe? This thing? This thing. Whatever. Uh, look at the floor in front of it and get matches. Oh, we did that. Okay. There's a red valve to the right of the panel. Turn it. Red valve. Where did we find the matches? Does anybody remember? <laughs> hey, Asmi, welcome. Hi, how are you? Hello, hello. Um, I don't see a red knobby. This knobby? Nope. We're just gonna have a talk about it. Um, I don't know where we got the matches. I know they were on the floor, but they were on the floor next to something and we're supposed to turn something. Mm. Touch the slider on the power distribution channel channel okay to turn it on. Okay, so we need something that has a slider and a switch. Hmm. I need like a labeled diagram. Excited to be watching! Well I'm glad. Feel free to help. I'm a disaster today, apparently. A slider. That doesn't count as a slider. This doesn't have anything on it. Gas heater, we have to... Okay. The far machine. Okay. The... Mm. <laughs> this one might have a slider. Okay. Yeah! Alright. There, that's the one they meant. So this is the power distribution oh, panel, yeah. then. Jara, thank you for gifting a sub to Asmi! Asmi, welcome to the Miro Superheroes. You now have access to the Miro Day at Amo emote, which you can use to spam some love in chat. And thank uh, Jora for his lovely gift. Thank you, Jora. I appreciate that. Enjoy, Asmi. You'll also now get your little sub barrel. Um, let's see. Okay, go left and you'll find a red locker. Go left. Red locker. Okay. Um, oh, now I can open it. Okay, cool. Let me take this thing. Steel mold. Someone didn't have a barrel. This cannot be allowed. <laughs> Thank you. Too many barrels and the chat will blow up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Probably don't because I don't even know what I'm saying. Turn this. Turn this thing. Open this thing. No? Poof. Okay, we got the steel mold. Turn the switch on the front of the locker. Oh, and then it unlocks the bottom locker. Cheeky. All right. Now we got this doohickey. Chat's so popping, it's explosive. Uh-huh. What is this? Bologna sandwich. Oh, uh... Oh, okay. Oh god, this is awful on the eyes, isn't it? We're supposed to do, get it to be all the same color? Okay, what do these all have in common? The blue circle. Okay, let's try that. And then that would mean these have to be this way? 
That matches up nicely so far. This would have to be this way. Good. I like it. This one would have to be this way. Brilliant. This one needs to be that. This one needs to be that. Okay. Yep. And... Okay, that all matches. I think that's it. Hey, Spellcaster, welcome! Garbage day, everyone! I like these type of puzzles. I also like them because I don't have to cheat because they're easy to me. <laughs> okay, we got a, a sink plug. Okay, all right. Well, I mean, that's gonna go in the sink, but wait, okay. Boop. Nothing. All right. Uh, there were two sinks? Yeah. Let's, let's stop up the other one, just for good measure. Boop. Mirror not cheating? Unheard of. I mean, I, I cheated like five minutes ago. I cheated five minutes ago. That was one hell of a story I heard from the kitchen, Miro. It was, it was an adventure. It was an adventure. I never leave the house without coming back with some crazy story, I swear. It's like I attract, like, insanity. Green-ish? What? Uh, this is the story in reading walkthrough uh, thing. Walkthrough channel puzzle. Mm-hmm, yep, can't spot, can't talk either, so there's definitely no coherent sentences. All right. Okay, now we gotta go, okay. So what this thingy does is tells the power to go to the right or to the left. So now we're gonna like power up the other fucking side of the room. Good to deal. Can I touch that? No, don't. We don't like that anymore. Okay. Uh, that means this is on. So I can take this. Thank you very much. Don't know what I'll need that for, and I honestly don't really want to find out, but that's fine. Um. Okay, we got a block of tin. Great. That's what I always wanted. I know exactly what to do with that. No questions whatsoever. Green! You fit right in right into the green crew. So many green peeps. Soon all of you will convert to green. It's the mirror demortium. It does that to your to your soul. Okay. Um how do we Oh boy. Okay. Got the fire extinguisher, yep. Got the block of tin, yep. Use the matches on the small window oven? This thing? Down there? Up here. In here. Maybe because there's no gas. Well, if you guys would fucking let me turn the gas on. I've tried multiple times. Okay, maybe no, maybe not that one. This one? No, we're just gonna leave that on. We're green yet to different greens, so it's even cooler. It's true. It's very true. No, that thing's not even on. All right, somewhere here I missed turning on a gas valve or something. Hmm. The pipe to the thing is all connected. Um. Yeah. We did that. We did that. Go to the right and use the matches on the small window in the oven. It won't let me. Next, go to the oven on the other side of the room. Put the steel mold into the shelf. Okay, maybe I'm in like the wrong the wrong apparatus here. I don't know. Okay. There's one that, oh, there's one on this end too, maybe? Aha! No. Okay. Maybe this is the one we put the tin in. Okay. 
So if this is the one we put the tin in, then the other one needs the fucking gas. This boy. I'm coming for you, boy. Hey, Lupin, welcome! Did I miss anything so far? Um, you missed a story, and that's it. <laughs> I'm trying to light it. Look, you guys. I don't understand. This fucking pipe is on. It could not be more on. Oh my god. That? That was something I touch? Fucking hell. Jesus. Okay. Now we got a fire. Now can I turn this goddamn switch? None of this makes coherent sense. I don't have a mechanical degree in operating furnaces. Alright. I do not. I, I know. Shocking. Shocking that I don't have a degree in starting furnaces. Okay. It's giving off warm air. Which is fucking fantastic, but it's not making it all the way. You really should do something about that. You're not qualified for these puzzles. I know, right? Okay, they don't want to turn that off. Do they want to touch this? Do they want to touch this? Uh, I don't understand. Oh, I need this thing in here. There. Okay, sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, light over there was red, now it's green. It means the furnace is unlocked. Okay, now fucking open it. You returned with foods. Good deal, good deal. I really just enclosed, it's just an enclosed dumpster file. You'll figure it out, I believe in you. Ah, oh, yes, I must believe in the power of the dumpster fire. That is what will get me far. Touch that. Thank you. Okay, that probably did turn the water on, which means we get to flood this joint, baby! I don't know why we're flooding it, but that's fine. Uh, yep, yep. So, now we've flooded the half the room. Okay, now let's flood the other half the room. I don't know why this is a feature. I... Why is a baby flooding this place? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what our goal is here. I would probably know if I read. But, I, you know, again, lazy. Can I pull this down? No. Can I touch this thing now? Oh. No, I, oh, I get to flip that switch. This one. This one. Yeah. No, motherfucker. All right. Mm-hmm. A locked lever in front of the windows to the steam turbine room. Use your new key. I didn't get a key. Is this supposed to poop out a key, probably? Yeah, okay. Okay. We gotta use our key to rev our engines. The water is acting like a conduit for electricity. Yeah, which seems um a little bit stupid because one dipped ankle and you're dead. So that's a poor choice on their part. Uh, this isn't the device I want. This is not the device you're looking for. This one. That's the sound of the machine starting, just in case anybody was wondering. Alright, pull the thing. Cute. 
Dip. Do not dip. Shields came down. Great. I guess we're trying to start this. Is, that, is this reactor not actually started? Just a bit dangerous. Only a little bit. Oh my god, they still don't want to touch this fucking button. All I want in my life is for that button to stay down. Okay. Um, yep, 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 yep. Go to the middle box that sends... Turn the dial that sends power through the water. Yep, did that. Check the console. Check the console turns on. This thing? Did not. Did, oh, okay, maybe the power is in the wrong place. They said to the right. Well, there we go. Do not dip. Do not dip. I want a grilled cheese. Oh, that actually sounds great. I don't think they're too concerned about accidentally killing people since they're actively trying to kill people. It's true. It is not a easy task staying alive in this place. Okay. Now I touch this? Yes. Thank fuck. Jesus. Oh, God, no. No. This is my least favorite type of puzzle. Boo. I hate it. Oh, these puzzles suck. Oh, my God, the solution is even uglier than the puzzle. Oh my god, who, th who, who didn't just take a screenshot of their solution? Now I gotta look at Greek alphabets and try to figure this shit out. Whose idea was this? Okay, I think this one does that. Thanks, fuck? Mm, yes. Fuck. <laughs> Murder! Welcome, squid. Hi, how are you? We're deep in the throes of cheating right now. Because this puzzle sucks. And I hate them. And I hope they quit making me do them. I don't even like cheating on these puzzles. That's how awful they are. Look, this one doesn't even use all the spaces. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. God damn it, Carl! I do not know the Greek alphabet, besides Sigma and Phi. Because I was not in a sorority. Or a fraternity. Or a cult. Uh, I think we get it. Oh yeah. Open the shiny star boy. Coil it up and now it's spinning? Monitor, uh, the monitor's on the side turned on too. Let's see what it says. Well, it says clear. What does this one say? This one says solve a puzzle. Oh my lord. Okay. We gotta, we gotta bounce these mirrors, maybe? Oh, oh, I see, okay. We gotta get this one. Oh, we can't move that one. Cheeky, okay, these only go up and down, they don't go side to side? Correct. Up, uh, nope. Uh, ooh, interesting. This is a new one. We'll toy with this for a while before we give up. <laughs> um. I'm just trying to get blue. I'm just trying to get blue. I'm just trying to get blue. Oh, man. Oh. Well, that would be great if it was red. Maybe we should try to get red instead. Oh, we got red! Okay, cool. Nobody touch it. Um... Green is just wanna gonna gonna wanna go like that, right? Gonna wanna go. Yellow though. What is our yellow boy doing? None of that. Yellow needs to do none of that. Hmm. Wait, this isn't a cult? <laughs> I've been deceived. You're right. This is like that other game with the robot. Oh, the Tal Talos Principle? Is that the one you're thinking of? Okay, I have a feeling this is gonna need to be here. Is 
There's something very satisfying about the noise these lasers make. Psh. Psh. Just ignore me. I'm like a I'm like a rambling crazy person right now. Okay. Um I can't move the green one, so I don't Maybe I have to bounce blue clear the fuck around the entire board? No, because I can't... can't get it to go down there. Oh? That's almost something. That's into the red side. I'm reassured I'm ready to receive my free PJs! Free PJs? Who said anything about free PJs? Yes. Jorah, exactly. All right. I messed with this an adequate amount of time, I think. Um. I would have never done that. Ew. So close. Fucking hell. Lime green? Free lime green. Oh, who wants lime green PJs? That sounds disgusting. Um, okay, we did the thing. Close the glow boy. Uh-oh. Oh, God. I do not want to be in this room anymore. This looks like a terrible idea. Who let me do this? Oh my god. Can we shut off the power? Is that what we're trying to flip this? Oh no. Oh god. Uh, touch this. Nope. We. I think we're just gonna explode. Uh, unplug the drains. The drain outlets are still covered. What are we gonna do? Okay, well that's not gonna work. Um, turn this. Why can't we turn this? Oh my god. All of these are viable solutions, children. Nothing else is connected to this system. I don't fucking, we, I guess these? Okay. We can short circuit somebody's body by dunking them in the river. Do I have anything? Oh, I have the fire extinguisher. Can I not just extinguish? Okay. That's fine. Can I extinguish the faucet? All right, use the fire extinguisher on the ditches. Thank you. That was my idea. Hell. I don't know, Julie. I don't know either. Something about this is a blowy boy. And now we leave, I guess. Akane? Oh, God. The top layer of ice melted. She just fucking dipped her foot in the water. She dipped. She did the dip. I told them this was a stupid design. They didn't listen. She's dead. Dumb bitch just dipped her foot. She's okay. She's just unconscious. So, Jora, on the note of that, I actually did an escape room. And after coming out of the escape room, the dude was like, what do you, what do, you do for a living? I've never seen anybody do the puzzles so fast. And I was like, mm. I play escape games online for a living. <laughs> I mean, this obviously this isn't my job, but I basically I we play escape games all the time, right? Like I grew up on escape games. So the dude was like, "What do you what do you do? You you are very good at reading out loud and you're very good at at solving my puzzles." <laughs> I was like, "Mhm." Mm 
Yes. Her breathing and pulse are normal. Tis my job. I see. Dumb bitch got zapped. Who's dead? Tell me. Oh, we need our list. Our list! The list! Oh, no, we have those already. That is all. Q team. They. <laughs> Should have told Liam Neeson is your dad and you've practiced vote. escaping. Escape all the time. I make bird no, calls for a living. Why? Sure all of Q team was really killed. <laughs> I should have just told him something oh. ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Y you're right. We need to focus on getting out of here somehow. Um, you seem to be forgetting that the exit's still locked. Well then. All we can do is go into that room. Ever heard of a guy named Zero? It all started there. I could just be like, what I murder characters online. Mm -hmm. Oh God. Akane? This fucking says rules She's of the AB game. Outside. Uh, the, the hell is this? No clue. These boys don't know about so the AB game. Monitor, you boys know about the AB game? We know about the AB game. Carlos and Junpei, stand on either monitor and vote. Either A, ally, or B, betray. You must vote at the same time. If the time is off, everyone within the shelter will be executed. Both of you will start with 3BP. The number will change based on the voting results. Well, duh, we just both want to ally. Oh, God, if he betrays me, fuck. All right, we know how this works. Carlos chooses ally, and Junpei chooses betray. Carlos loses three, Junpei gains six. Blah, blah, blah. Other way around. When um, either player's BP reaches nine, the door will unlock. If your BP drops to zero, you'll be executed. Method of execution. Your bracelet will administer, administer muscle relaxant into your bloodstream. In this way, you will ha receive a peaceful death. Uh, beware. Others will share the same fate as you. If Carlos dies, Diana and Sigma will die as well. If Junpei dies, Akane and Fai will die. Make your choices carefully. Oh, boy. Share the same fate. If I die, Akane and Phi die too. And Diana and Sigma are killed if I die. Ah, damn! How far is Zero going to go with his toying with us? This boy just gets irrationally mad. Like, kicking the machine is not going to fix it, Junpei. Ally just play the game. Or betray. Yeah, both ally multiple times, you ding dongs. <sighs> well, what will it be, Carlos? What are you saying? Isn't it obvious? Shunpei's gonna be a little shit, isn't he? Twice. We'll add six additional points to our initial three. And we'll both end up with nine BP. No one dies, no one gets hurt. That the would be shitty, Squid. Will open, and C Team will be able to get out. Oh, yeah. I get it. There's nothing gained by choosing Betray, right? Zero's aiming for us to kill ourselves off here. All right. But I feel like Junpei is going to be a dick. Hey, He's going to pull um, a dick butt Dio. Before we do this, do you mind if we check on Akane? Oh my god. He wants people to die. He's going to He's going to rush back in, push Betray this so fast. Here, she's always been really smart. If she thinks the tiniest thing is off, She'll start debating with buts and ifs, like, buts and like ifs. someone at least twice her age. But to all of us, back in grade school, she was pretty strange. Well, I, I guess she came across as scary. Did she get bullied a lot? No. Debating just, with buts. Well, not many people wanted to be friends. I always saw her sitting in a corner, curled up, hugging her knees, and all alone, I decided that I'd stay by her side to watch over and protect her, if I could. Then one day, Seventh the favorite rabbits were killed by some stupid middle schoolers having fun. She didn't take it well. So, without telling me or the teachers, she went to their hutch crying and, and apologizing over and over to them. <laughs> that was over 10 years ago. Uh, a memory that's been tucked away in my brain, covered in dust. Can mem can memories get covered in dust? <laughs> when I saw her again last year, 
I was, I was reminded. Seiji, I literally have a haircut tomorrow morning. I fucking, I'm so done with my hair. It's ridiculously long. It's so long and I can't do anything with it. And it just, oh God, it looks awful every day. Haircut tomorrow though. So it'll either look way better or way worse. Ah, <sighs> if there's no webcam tomorrow, you'll know why. <laughs> of that time. Thank you, Squid. I just can't <laughs> not keep an eye on her. I, I know she always goes and just. I know we're having like a moment here, or whatever. Akane's dying, whatever. My hair, the like the main issue with it is it's so like light and fluttery, and since it's so dry here, it also gets really staticky. So if I don't put it back away from my face, it's like all day, just like tiny tickles breezing your face and you, you could like sneeze and it would just, like, it's so obnoxious. And I could like, you know, stiffen it with hairspray and it wouldn't go anywhere, but that's all, just equally as awful. My hair is getting long in the back. It's starting to look like a mullet. Oh no. Are you going to keep growing it out, Julie? Or are you going to cut it again? You don't cut until spring break. Okay, so you are gonna cut it. <laughs> Ooh -ee, tiny tickles, exactly. It's just tiny, tiny breeze. Any breeze, right? The cat farts two rooms over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get hairs in my face. It's ridiculous. Quietly shoulders everything herself. That's why I want to protect her. Back to her. our moment. I wanted to help her bear whatever weight she's taken up. I truly felt that, but well, I don't know. It was like... It was like I didn't know her as well as I thought I did. Hell, I couldn't... I couldn't understand why I even cared. I wanted to find out more about who she really was. To go and... and see her. <laughs> exactly, Ryan, Jorah. You, you get it. You have someone you really care about, don't you? You mean my sister? Yeah. My parents... Died in a gotcha, fire. Julie. Gotcha. And then Maria fell ill to an incurable disease. Above anything else. Poker in a cryopod. She'll be you. okay. I want to see her smile like before. She'll be okay in the future. That's what I decided. That's why. Ah, now I get it. That's why you need the five hundred thousand uh, dollars. That's not nearly enough. <laughs> it's clear we both have someone we want to protect, and neither of us. Can afford to die now right so let's get out of this room by both picking ally we'll work on getting out of this shelter Jubei, he's not that. gonna do it okay let's get this over with yeah back to the room for us he's not gonna do it oh god don't get the timing wrong, okay? We have to enter them at the same time to... I know. All right. You want it down to your waist? Oh go. my goodness. That's way too much hair for me. <laughs> Could not do it. My hair is too fluttery. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay. Okay. They're, they're going to give me a second. Ally. We'll try it out. I don't know who I am. I, 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 I guess I'm Carlos. Right? I always make the decisions for the team leader, so I'm, I would be Carlos. Junpei just fucked me over. 100%. Maybe Junpei will surprise you? Alright, alright. Take your bets, guys. I want to hear a yay if Junpei is our new best friend and he didn't do us, didn't do us a bad. Right? He voted ally. Yay if Junpei voted ally. Nay if Junpei voted betray and he's the new dick butt nay oh no junpei P the people don't believe in you junpei is a good bean are you sure though he's like emo moody bean now he's got he's seen some shit look at that face i take it back he did a bad <laughs> he did a bad look at it. look at his sly little boy face i think he did a bad Fucking, he did a bad. What a dick. What the? 
Why? Too late to strangle him, I suppose. Sorry, Carlos. There's nothing gained by choosing betray, right? You said that, but you forgot, Carlos. There actually was something. What? What are you? I liked virtuous Jean Pei. Team, currently dead. Yeah, he's just more, thirsty for people to die. Will be able to be opened. Sure. The same fate. That's right. If you die, Diana and Sigma will die as well. Even his death face. <laughs> no. It's beautiful. So then, you. Don't take it the wrong way. I didn't choose betray so I could escape. I know you do anything it really is. for the little sister you love. So that's why I figured you'd choose to push betray. Oopsie. That's not what I meant to do, but sure, we'll save right now. Completely arbitrary moment. Whatever. Pew! Pew! <laughs> Just sorry, just had to Brave just had to map that out for myself. So, essentially it was a defensive move. I I only wanted to protect Akane and Fi. Uh, uh, huh? Junpei Carlos? Carlos is, is dead, sin. girl. Assume everyone you meet is a thief. Hey, socks, it welcome. Means Hi, how are you? You should never trust strangers. You really do be like that sometimes. <laughs> Carlos's eyes? Bastard. Or betraying people for your own gain. Because uh, both is true. Maria. Oh, dying. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes, dying. That's exactly what it looks like. Oh, no, that means Sigma is dead. It means, like, a lot of people are dead. But we won't get to see it. It's just a game over. Let us go back and betray the asshole. Bad Bean. Bad Bean Junpei. Well, is there a third choice? How could that possibly go any different? <laughs> Jordan, thank you for the clip. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Betray the dick butt. Don't get me wrong, I didn't kill you so I could escape. I just couldn't stand it when you looked at me with two different things at once. That would be a hell of a reason to kill somebody. All right, so now we're gonna have a Mexican stalemate and we're just gonna be zero. And then we're gonna have like a fist off. We're just gonna beat the shit out of each other probably. Oh my God. This fucking game. Okay, so the third option must be we both choose ally or we both choose betray. It's basically the second game part. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, this is from VLR. Well, now I look like a dick. No. Why? You piece of shit. You tricked me. Oh, boy. No, no, I didn't. I swear. It was because the last time we voted, you chose betray. So oh, I he knew it. What are you going on about? We've only done this once. Carlos is doing the jumping. Carlos is doing the jumping. <laughs> Rip, Junpei. Hey, are you okay, Junpei? No, we he's not okay, you dumbass. The hell he's been asshole. drugged. He's not okay. This is all your. I, you're the one who killed me first. <laughs> What? what was what's quote 100 what is going on what's number How 100 do i even know about a last time junpei's right this should have been the first time so why do i think there was another? there's a there's a resting period did this last time happen just keep doing quote 100 until it appears there is a hundred there has to be there's a japanese saying assume everyone you meet <laughs> oh no <laughs> That's a bad one. You They're all terrible. Trust strangers so easily. The kid still doesn't bleed. This is this is like uh, when I'm in a fire. So he's been doing this shit yeah. for a while. Does this mean I've somehow been avoiding the paths leading to death? 
Uh oh. Oh, now we're dead. Oh god. She went not so. Well, that was fun. How dare you? Does she even How know what happened in this room? Does she even have any idea what just went down? Oh my god, lady. Try a little bit harder. I don't think he's dead yet. He's definitely still kicking. A few more times. <laughs> Welcome back, Squid! This is Akane for you. She loves Junpei a little bit too much. But she'd never tell him that. They're just childhood friends. Jesus. Akane, you... Crazy murdering bitch, you. Junpei. Oh. Wait, how did she die too? Oh. If Junpei died, her bracelet, right? Okay, so her bracelet got her too. I'm surprised she had that much energy to beat the shit out of that guy. Okay, well. Um, perhaps now we have the ability to do the third ending on that one? I'm curious. No, it's locked. Okay, maybe Carlos needs to know specifically how to jump before we can do that one? I'm not sure. That was your favorite one? Really? I still prefer the chainsaw and the uh, axe fight. I can do that one. I can? It has a little lock on it, though, which in the last game, I mean, meant story locked. Hold on. Where are we? It's this one. Oh, oh, no, because now we have the exclamation point. You're right. You're right. Thanks, socks. You're right. That, they don't make that apparent enough. The exclamation point. They really just don't. Did she get bullied a lot? Okay, we're blasting back to here no. and we can't skip it. It was just... Well, not many people wanted to be friends. Can always count on socks. Yes. Thank you, socks. Whoa! We just got abducted by aliens. This game is confusing. Yeah, the way they did the flow chart uh, is a poor move, weird. in my opinion. I agree. Okay? I still like the first is, game the best, I think. I don't this... know. Before the A-B game? What? Oh, Carlos. Okay. His mind just beamed down. Uh, now he's confused. I going? Y yeah. I always saw her uh, sitting- Oh no, you're a dirty room, sock? Oh no. Up, hugging her knees, and all alone. I- I decided I'd stay by her side <laughs> to know this game was about extra- Oh I my god, Carlos. Huh? You're quoting the fast, then the past day, and the future. Her beloved- Rabbits were killed by some stupid middle schoolers having fun. Wow, she went that's to their impressive. Hutch crying and apologizing over and over to them. I don't think I could. I don't think I could recite something somebody told me how, like that. How do you know that? Did Akane tell you? Nope. No. Then I'm Carlos why? from the future. Uh, so gonna stay silent, huh? Fine. I know what you're gonna pick, uh, my dude. There's no point talking about this. He Let's knows. just get these votes. No, wait. Something's weird. Hello, pot calling <laughs> kettle. Seen your future, and you're Whatever an asshole. I chose so. in the A B game, it was always the worst outcome. What are you talking about? <laughs> Don't let people know you have superpowers. Man, I'd be telling everybody. Junpei? Carlos? She'll stop him from choosing Betray. I would hope. Oh, I think I understand. I guess nobody on this team knows you about the jumping. what you just did was shift, Carlos. Shift? Or shifting. Space time, human, internal it. fluctuating, transfer. Yeah, well, before we just call it jumping, where so. one's mind crosses space and time. Akane, is, is that? The power we used a year ago? The ability to send and receive information through the morphogenetic field. <laughs> it's a simpler version of this. I guess. You're saying the me here right now came from a different history? Correct. Well, your consciousness, at least. Say you go back in time Came to out when of the your ceiling. parents met, using a car as a time machine. Know what movie I'm talking about? 
Hello. Uh, yeah, of course I do. The high school protagonist almost gets it on. We have a kitty cat. Mother Shift happens. <laughs> I need a t-shirt that says that. the basic plot, right? Yes, Fine, kitty cat. the story revolves around a boy. We'll call him M. Now, according to the plot, he's successful at getting his parents to marry. But history ends up changing slightly. Upon returning to his own time, his father's a famous science oh, fiction yes. writer, and he's rich. Oh, yes. Uh, I guess the hierarchy was switched when his dad punched the neighborhood Can't bully. say the name of the movie. But did you notice something odd about the movie? Just what happened to the M who lived in that fancy house? <laughs> huh. Well, now that you mention it. They're trying real hard. Oh, okay. I don't think the M from that history appears Bye, in the movie at all. There are two over cam cam? types of stories about time travel. You need the cam cam? There's still a little bit, little bit of it hanging out here. There is always only one history. Meaning, if someone changes the past... Okay, hold up. That's a big-ass key. I did not think the key was that big. Also, no more cat cam because he's currently sniffing. There's one corner of my desk he just loves to sniff, and I don't know why. He'll sniff it for, like, days. Um, I had a question. What was it? That's gone now. Oh, here I go. A picture. Why though? Shift happens. Yes. Yes. I need that as a shirt. Yes. Print it and put it on my body. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. That previous past is subsequently erased. That's not normal. Keyside. No, she's, she has the whole thing in her fist. Like a caveman with a log. Is where multiple histories exist. This is the many worlds interpretation, one of the more widely believed hypotheses on multiverse theory. The world and universe split into branches as a result of one's decisions. I don't think she's that tiny. It's a setup where each branch is able to exist in some form. I thought it was a wrench. No, that's the key that we made. First, Let's consider what happens with a single path history. In this case, do you know what M is doing back in- Okay, so I've never seen Back to the Future. Is that, is that gonna make this difficult? <laughs> it's okay, I get the idea. In his own time? What? I'm sorry. Doing? I've never seen Star Maybe Wars either or Jurassic Park. Murder? I know. Well, think about it. I know. Uh, the M who grew up in that fancy house. Let's call him. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. Socks, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Miro's Heroes. I'm glad you're enjoying your time here. I hope you stick around. Um, Jora, I remember what I was going to say. Jora, for uh, your resub and your gift sub, if you would like to pick a game for binge day, let me know where you would like your stuff to go towards. Jurassic Park storms out. I'm so sorry. Night in the Woods. Okay, got it. I'm sorry, okay? I know I haven't seen all the fancy hoity-toity movies. It's on my to-do list. There's like a there's like a mile-long list. I'm working on it. Binge day. So, those of you that are new, um, as me, socks, anybody else who's new and watching, um, down below me, you'll see two games. It says a story about my uncle and night in the woods. Every month we do a binge day. So, uh, I'll, I'll sit down and play a game hundred percent to completion in one stream. Uh, it's usually about like 12 hours, right? Um, and you guys get to vote on which game you want it to be that month. So the two games this month are a story about my uncle or night in the woods. And anytime that you give bits or sub money or, you know, donations, all that can be put towards the game of your choice. So it's kind of like a little a little uh, voting system. And uh, so far, Night in the Woods has 55, and a story about my uncle only has 15. So I'm thinking Night in the Woods might win. Um, and I think, when did we say it was going to be this month? I think I said it was going to be Saturday, March 2nd, I think is when we're doing Binge Day this time. Hoity toity boobies? No, mm -mm. that's not what I said. Ghostbusters. Uh, I have seen Ghostbusters. I th 
think I've seen Ghostbusters 2. As long as somebody doesn't pull an AJ, that's true, yeah. Uh, one month, one of our uh, wonderful community members donated a large sum to be put towards neither game uh, and to be put towards Doki Doki Literature Club. So <laughs> that happened. Then we had two binge days. Um, yeah, no, I've seen Ghostbusters. And I've seen um, the one part, I don't know which Star Wars movie it is, but I've seen like the trash compactor scene of the Star Wars movies multiple times. Oh, I see. Or rather, I didn't see because I'm on PS4 while chatting on mobile. Yes, yeah. If you're watching on a, a, a different screen, it's kind of hard to see. But yes, that is what Binge Day is about. Um, here, hold on. Let me... Did I... I said March 2nd. Yeah, so it must be March 2nd. M2. Okay, back to our M2. Marty McFly storyline. a variety of amazing memories from his life. Maybe he met a really cute girl he liked, or was a winner of a contest. The possibilities are endless. All of those memories, every single one was overwritten when M came from another history. Huh. But the history that disappeared was poor M's. You're right, that's true. What was erased from existing in time was M's history. But... The only memories that M retained uh, are those of when he was poor. So, in effect, the life that M2 lived through. I think we're trying to learn something here, but I'm not sure because what. Because of the actions that the protagonist M took to save his own. I'd say that's the same as killing someone, don't you think? So, like, how are we going to vote on this A-B game? That's all Next I care about. Is the multiverse hypothesis. Okay, more In hypothesis. In situation, M2's life is never erased. Instead, a mystery remains. So, where did M2, the version who remembers being well off, up and disappear to? Where he went. This is what I think. On oh, the her same ponytail. day that protagonist Oof, M used the time machine, M2, for some reason, did the same as M and went back to the past. But then he did the exact opposite of M. The opposite? My brain hurts. Mm -hmm. He stopped his dad from punching the bully. So, when he returned to his own time... <laughs> That's normal when your hair is longer? Is it really? Does it clip through my shoulder? Are you saying that... They pretty much switched places. It would keep everything consistent. Spell, That's thank you for the host. I appreciate that. that is. Uh, M2's situation. Well, he ends up getting. This would be so much easier the if they could just call him Marty. Of which scenario happens? Damn, that's pretty unfair. Yes, that's true. But uh, this is rather difficult to say, Carlos. Your case may be exactly the same. What? Your consciousness <sighs> could have come from another history and taken over this body. So in, in this exchange, world, the Carlos who was here originally Marie is dead. No. Another me is in the other history? Dead. Doesn't matter. No it stopped. The timeline stopped. You simply need to accept that that's what shifting is. I wouldn't feel bad because the other ones are dead. But, I get to live. Wait, it doesn't Akari, matter. How did you know that Carlos is able to shift? He mentioned before that he knows which path has death at the end and which is safe. I just sort of knew too. <laughs> Carlos does always look really mad. You dead boy. Yeah, an dead. Yeah, it is kind of like Soma. House. It is kind of like the, the Soma idea a little bit. My parents didn't make it, though I was able to get my sister Maria out. But we didn't make a clean escape. Maria fell into some sort of coma. They first thought that she had carbon monoxide poisoning. But that wasn't what it was. Reverie syndrome. Oh yeah, I remember. A His sister's like of moments flicker in got a weird and thing out of the mind as if one was constantly dreaming We believe this is what your sister has 
day, is daydreaming either system. Large amounts of information from the morphogenetic field. Daydreaming syndrome. Or her consciousness cannot stop its jumping between multiple histories. Uh oh, she broke the shift. Like us. She broke the yes. shift. Wrong Though chat. slightly different. In Maria's case, that power is running rampant within her. That is what the reverie syndrome really is. She broke the shift. What? Shift breaker! If they can be found to control the ability, then she could recover from it. Don't cross the streams. <laughs> I see. That's good. So there's some hope for her. Hey, Carlos. When you dove into the fire to save your sister, you were able to hear her voice, right? Yeah, I was. I'm getting Carlos up to speed on all this shit. Carlos, I'm here! Welcome to the brain shifting team, Carlos. This is how yeah, it happens. Maria, is that you? Just stay there. I'm coming to get you. <laughs> it's okay, Spell. <laughs> no matter how you look at it, there was no way her voice could reach me. But I realized exactly where she was, and I found her quickly. That was the first time. After that, I could hear victims crying out in the fires, and which way would lead to my death. Boy, tapped in. This, this ability we have is triggered by intense danger. When we are threatened by a crisis, it's easier for us to access Girl, the put down the key. I get it. So that's what it was. It's true, so, Boggs. It's true. Carlos. Coban worse. Junpei. Shall we shift? Huh? Fuck, we what? don't need to shift yet. There's really no reason to play the AB game. Well, as it stands right now, it's incredibly likely the both of you will decide to pick It Adam. could happen if we weren't assholes. But instead of going through that, it'd be better to shift to another history. It'll work. The three of us will definitely be able to... I'm sorry. It is way easier for these assholes to press ally twice on a console than it is to throw your consciousness to a different dimension. Just saying. Just pick ally. It's not that hard. But do it. But only if we find our lives in danger. What, what do you mean by danger? Your girl's about to bust out the chainsaw again. Hey, Jabe, welcome. I really don't get the plan here. I don't either, man. I don't either. The control panel oh my god. This is our idea. Guys, you dumbasses. So, because they don't want to have to push a button twice, right? They're going to explode the entire facility. Kill off everybody left in the facility in this timeline just to jump consciousness. That is shitty. Yet they don't... Oh my god, they can't just press ally twice. I'm so mad about this. This extreme case of TLDR. Uh, this has been her logic for like literally 50 years. I mean, I guess, yeah. She's just so extra. She's so fucking extra. So if they can do this anytime they want, why have they been playing the game at all? Well, they have to have, like, extreme danger. They can't just do it willy-nilly, which is why they're going to use the reactor to blow up the fucking facility so that they can dip out. Hey, uh, uh, Kane? I don't want to push a button. You're really turning the reactor into a bomb? I could too, Jay. earlier, didn't I? Our lives have to be in danger for our shift ability to manifest. You have a poison watch! This, it's true. this is absolutely nuts! Even if we do manage to do this, the us who are from whatever history we switch with will end up do you overwritten. Plan on dying here, then? Um, you guys oh, can literally just push a button. Right. I forgot you were like that. The main cord is preventing the shield from deploying. I vote we electrocute her ass again now, and continue to battle now. out ally or betray. So, where do we need to jump to? Um. Well, this is stupid. You, it's you not great, Cookie. That part? Well, if we knew in advance. This isn't like a bad case of like, guys, we have superpowers. Let's do something really cool. Like hype. Instead of just being logical, pushing a button. 
They're just excited. They have superpowers. That's all. You're not affected by any of this at all, are you? That's not true. Can't reason with unreasonable Look, people. Just let them jump for realities. So fast. Fine. Do you want to check it? Uh, what the fuck? Two minutes until detonation. Get your weird flirty uh, ass hey, out of here. Kind of getting down to the wire here. This is why you don't tell people when you have superpowers. <laughs> yep, this is a good lesson. The same history? They're not gonna do it. Nobody. There's a history when we didn't get all ones on the dice rolls. The moment right after that. Then you'll be dead. Are you insane? We're just gonna get ourselves killed. It's okay. I have a plan. Thirty seconds until detonation. All right. I trust you, Junpei. Ah, damn it. Junpei, if we die, oh, I'm gonna kill you. Okay, let's go. I know. This plan just keeps getting dumber. <laughs> oh, my God. They couldn't just agree to ally. Hooray. <laughs> Stupid. Shall we go to that timeline and see what happens? Um, let's see how, oh, oh no, it's literally just right there. We can't go anywhere else. Thanks for the assist. Weird flowchart game. Appreciate. I wondered how there could be extra plot after we were dead. It's fucking weird. Wait, 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 that one doesn't count. Oh, uh, um, I, uh, uh. Your hand slipped. That was it, right? How are they going to get out of this? Uh, uh, you, you wouldn't mind a little do-over, right? Zero? Here come the aliens. <laughs> shift again. Oh, yeah. Shift the fuck out of there, too. Why? That's extra steps. This is so extra. But I'm so angry. Is... <laughs> Rip. You dumbasses. Hurry, Junpei, what was your idea? Yeah, um, right. First. <gasps> He's punch her? What the hell? Carlos, put Akane in the fireplace. Huh? Just do it! Okay. Okay. Last time this scenario happened, we had maybe five seconds to dive behind the bar before we all started dying. And now we're stuffing the girl in the fireplace? Why not some control and all? I know, right? They really need to control the fucking situation. How big is this fireplace? Akane, listen to me. She looked dinky. Carlos and I are going to be your shield wall. What? What are you talking about? I said it's a pretty big fireplace. shouldn't hit you if there are two bodies in front of you. But if you do that, then you'll... It's okay. Listen, Carlos and I will protect you and die. The fuck? <laughs> Carlos is like, I am not on board Before with this die, plan. We just need to shift to another history. Once you hear all of the X passes, Akane, you should follow. Right oh. Away. The X passes. Carlos for president. In this history, five are already dead. Five's the only other one alive. That means five X passes. He's being be cheeky, boy. If Carlos's and mine are added to that. Then there'll be seven. No. Damn it, Junpei. What the hell is this plan? You're going to help, right? You guys don't really have a choice. God damn it. Please. They're going to get shot in the butt. Do this. We, we can't go back now. Definitely this longer. The They're having like a full-blown fucking conversation. To the history when we rolled the dice and they were all ones. Okay. Let's right in the thing. prison pocket. Let's protect Akane. No matter what. I'm counting on you, Carlos. No! No, 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 no! Girl, you're going to a different history where they're alive anyway. Ah! Jesus. Ah! Right in the butt. Right in the patoot. Oh, that's a lot of blood for a patoot. 
Doesn't this take some men kind of mental toll on them? It definitely should. 100% lots of therapy that Junpei should have been getting a long time ago. Right up Main Street. Oh, no. You think it would go through bodies? Oh, no. His butt swish cheese. All right, what do we got? As a result, seven X passes will be revealed. What do we got? I. I kill fool. Okay, we know that one by fucking heart. I kill fool. Now I just gotta find him. I kill <sighs> fool. Bless bugs. Moon fate save doll. Moon fate. Moon fate save doll. Save. Save, 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 save. Um, I don't know who save is. I guess I don't know who Doll is either. Hmm, okay. Well, I'll write him over here. Save Doll. Uh, Junpei is probably Doll, right? Let's ship to a history where the stupid snail didn't cross the road. I agree. I agree. That wasn't, that was, that was doggo, not boggo. Uh, horrible. You're horrible. Yep, save as Carlos. Okay. Save. I should go now. Is it time, time for me to go. Goodbye. Can we ship to a history where Radical Six doesn't exist? Why bother with any of this? I don't think I don't think that's a possibility. I don't think that's anywhere. Wait, are are we still Okay. I'll click it again then. Oh, I see. I see. All this jumping around's got me screwy. Also, does anybody want to explain to me how she managed to shift with zero danger? What is your Maybe problem? she did it on pure rage. Look, the three of us shifted just fine, so what's the big deal? It's not okay! Uh, we did get seven X passes at least. Not you too, Carlos. I can't believe you! You always were like that, weren't you, Junpei? She was distressed, we but not in danger in necessarily. Grade, you faced those rabbit killing middle school kids alone. There were probably other ways of handling it, but you rushed right in. Even the shifting. It's okay because it worked, but what if I was left behind there? Well, I uh, I figured you could escape alone then, or or something. She's a danger My to herself. Is She's wrong. a danger to a lot of people, especially Being if she gets a chainsaw. Being a survivor does not make me happy. There's no point in living once you lose the one you care about the most. And yeah, she'd probably be really experienced. Probably not as much as much as Sigma and Phi, though. I mean, let's be honest. Those boys spent like a week in boot camp. Or a fire extinguisher. It's true. She'll murder I'm a boy. Sorry. I I never meant to ever cause you pain like that. God, she's such a such a baby. What's that? But yet she'll murder the well, shit out um, of somebody. Remember back in elementary school, your dream was to yeah. wear a ring on your left hand? Wait, isn't that everybody's so, dream? What the fuck kind of proposal is that? What's the matter? He's out of the whole game, Squid. <laughs> He's died and like let it roll across the floor multiple times. That was a proposal. Okay. Yep. Yeah. That was a proposal. Remember that one time when you were a kid and you wanted a ring on your hand? That is her right hand. <laughs> That's 100% her right hand. Carlos is over there like, yes, my ship. Thank you. Thank you God, so much. Goddammit, Junpei can't even put it on the right fucking hand. <laughs> but... <laughs> you know this okay, is good. right hand, Good, it's, you? it's a joke. Wait, what? Thank God. Junpei, come oh, on. Get it together. Uh, you're right. 
It um it, it looked like the left from from my side. So. Uh... Oh my god. <laughs> Proposal of the year right there, ladies. <laughs> Just like you, Junpei. Can't top it, dudes. <laughs> uh well we'll move it to the correct finger later. What a dingleberry. Hmm. <laughs> I'll do it officially after we escape from here. The middle finger. He puts it on like the pinky. <laughs> so. Until then. Can't beat that proposal, right, Seiji? I'll leave an empty spot open. <laughs> it's been wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. In VLR, when she's like old and crotchety and dead, which hand is the ring on? I think it's on her left. Let me see if I can't get an image of it. Uh, we got a picture of her hologram. Uh, it's too tiny. It's her. It's still on her right hand. It's still on her right hand in the hologram. Interesting. Yep, it's still on her right. <laughs> Guess I never get out. And put on reserve. You're correct, Jave. You win Jeopardy. You win all the points. This is what I mean, though. Akane can shift because she's like a time goddess or something. Uh, can't she just find one of the infinite possibilities Akane, in the world where it doesn't kill you? Do you yeah? remember the X you would think so. for Junpei and me? Yes. Normally, when someone shifts, they forget the memories from the last timeline. Let's please explain this plot hole. I'm used to it. It's all there. Mm-hmm. But wait, it, hold on. Carlos and I remember what happened before, too. Huh. I think the memories were strengthened due to the resonance effect. Those with the ability to shift... Oh, there are three of us here, so... Oh, so it strengthens our bond, what? and we remember better. Why. We remember good guys. Where are you on the timeline, by the way? Just, like, how much of this is done overall? Um, let us take a look. This much. Um, we have a, a story lock there. And um, if it helps you to look at this view for whatever reason, there's that. If it helps you to look at... Well, I guess I can't do team select right now. I'll show you team select later if that helps. Three shifters gathered in a place like this. Soul resonance! Really That's some soul eater shit. Coincidence. Uh, true. Even if we really are seeing more shifters in the world, the probability... Wait... The Let numbers us. are increasing? Yes. Mankind is about to face an unprecedented crisis. Oh my god. If this game says that because there's about to be a Radical Six pandemic, everybody in the world is going to shift, I'm going to be mad. I will be mad. So if they're successful and stop Radical Six from getting out and Junpei and June grow old and happy and they and Junpei and June grow old and happy together and god damn it if that doesn't happen I'll be so mad. I will also be mad. You're immune to spoilers. Yes. Yeah. Um as it stands now, we'll lose 6 billion lives. I assume mankind has sensed that and is adapting. No, that's not Even a thing. Even though it's in reality only a small portion. You probably have to know there's that no there's a danger. Way there are tens of thousands of shifters. This has more plot holes than Swiss cheese. On purpose. Oh. But we signed up for boy. DCOM of our own free will. Wait a minute. But maybe we just think that and in actuality we did exactly what Zero wanted. Bless Bogs. It's highly possible. Bless Doggo. Ah, damn. What is that bastard thinking? Wasn't it because he needed us to shift? Why would that be important? Oh, there is a spoiler chat. There is a spoiler chat. There's like a spoiler room you guys can use. It'll all be over once we get out of here anyway. But be nice in there because I can't look. Right. We couldn't care less what Zero has planned at this point. We're not going to we put in the password. We need six X we know five of them already. Bogs, so you want spoilers? One more. All right. Akane, 
Tell us one of the other X passes. <laughs> Aliens. It's save. What it, what happens if I put in doll? Ah, oh, that's lame. What? Hey, what the hell? You probably can't wait, do wait, ones that haven't been wait, announced. Is the X pass wrong? Somehow? You dumbasses. Th that can't be. It's gotta be on the board. Let's try the other one too. Akane. Oh, I already uh, did that. It's doll. Okay, well, we already know that's not gonna happen, but sure. What the? Really, no guys? Way. But why? It's not that hard. Cheaters. Oh, get fucked! <laughs> Shit. She just called you out. What? No! Called you off for cheating. Computer knows you're cheating. <laughs> Jubei's lost it. Oh no. Here he goes. Jubei. He lost now his bananas. This is hilarious. How perfect. Why? Why did we even struggle through all of that just now? Those guns turned my body into Swiss cheese. And Your you're telling butt, me mostly, that yeah. it was all for nothing. Yeah. Yes. All we did was die in vain. Could have avoided it by pressing ally. Just saying. Just saying. Could have all been avoided. But you had to get fancy. So. <laughs> That's right. Get boys. Game Shark won't help die. you now. What? I loved Game Shark, man. Just, just one more person. I broke the fuck out of my Pokemon can... game. Junpei. You. Wait, Junpei. Hey! What the fuck? Oh no! Fuck that kid! Oh god, no! Oh. Junpei! He's super uh, mega you are... evil Penalty. kid! Penalty. You are charged with a rule violation. That means you must be punished. Murder child! But punished? Time to exterminate. Exterminate? Uh, oh God! Oh my God! I thought he was gonna headbutt her. <laughs> uh, uh, He's just gonna beat the shit out of him. That's his plan. Uppercut. Yes. Ah, oh, damn it! He's so strong. It's three against Ooh, one. This is a tiny punches. child. Come on. He doesn't like it when you touch the helmet. Just like pick up the helmet, jostle him around a bit. Shuriken! I don't think that would take him out. Oh shit! You got ninja by the firefighter. Oh. That's what I want to know. I gotta do something. He keeps seeing other teams. If I die now, that's like some I new shit. Pay. And Akane. Think. It's one child. Think. You are a ripped uh, man. Way. Some way to survive this situation. Kick a child. Uh, that's exactly how. I believe that what you just did was shift, Carlos. Kick a child. That's it. Shift. I can <sighs> shift. No, punt the no child. Akane behind. Why doesn't anybody want to fight this kid? In another history and jump right back. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, yeah. Where do I go? Which history should I jump to? Damn it! I don't have time to think. He's gonna ninja kick your ass. Then. <laughs> He's gonna pull some Jackie Chan shit. You're Carlos. Come on, Carlos. They showed the American flag behind you. You can do anything. Oh. Now we're hopping over here. Junpei's already dead over here. Fuck. You know what? I don't even... Just do it. Let's go. Junpei. I'm sorry. I couldn't... There's a lot going on. But it was all... 
unnecessary. All of this Akai? was highly unnecessary. I, oh, you just went to a random I one? I can see that. Oh yeah, he's down an arm. This is the ah, worst timeline to go towards. Ah, Literally the worst. You're missing an arm. Your other two teammates are dead. The fuck you thinking, boy? You couldn't just kick a child. I, I don't even think he's a child. I'm pretty sure he's just like the Terminator now. <gasps> no. Yeah. Why is it Connie? Oh my god. Think hard, boy. Oh, I guess he wouldn't know. I guess he wouldn't know about this scenario. Okay, he's getting it though. He's getting a flashback. He's combining his histories. Got it? This got, is got it in there? The history where Connie was killed. By uh, you and your ex. I killed her. No, I didn't kill her. The one who did was me from this history. Yep, you're still missing an arm uh, though. This can't be kept like this. I need to do something at <laughs> least. For five minutes it all goes to shit. Welcome to the game, Julie, where it has no chill. You felt no pain when he jumped now? Like how? I'm not sure what that says. The anesthetic worked somehow. The pain's dull. Don't know how long it'll last. Did we have an infirmary? Regardless, who was that kid? I guess he wouldn't know that that's cute, would he? I have to figure out who he is somehow. Oh. Wait, he said he was going to jump over here, devise a plan, and then jump back? Was that his idea? He's hyped on adrenaline, maybe? Oh, why, he felt no pain from his arm? Yeah, probably. That, and I don't know, the euphoria of shifting, maybe? Oh, fuck, I don't yeah. know. There's one more thing I need to do. He used the watch. Okay. That You're supposed I to have saw. a muscle relaxant in it, I, I thought. Not an anesthetic. Maybe it's supposed to have both. A shift gasm. Yes. Search the family portrait. What the fuck does that mean? Gab. That's so cryptic. Go, Gab. Go, my boy. Gab is best now boy. Then, what's left is figuring out who that kid is. He might have been the one who killed Junpei in this history. Oh, no, Asmi. Try refreshing if you have a delay. It should be on low latency. Um, okay, well that was that. Um, I don't think we have time for any more of these because these are long. And my headset just gave me the weird chime that means it's dying. So I think we'll probably just end with that insanity. So we fleshed out quite a bit though. Um, we managed to do this whole thing and then some of this and now we just got to do this for that. Raid, we haven't in a while. That's true. We haven't raided in a while. We could do that since it is fairly early. Let's see who is out and about today. Um, you can't say code game too mute that. Squid, why don't you stream late anymore? I miss raiding you. All right, we'll raid Salty. He's doing more battle tech which I have no knowledge of, so. Um, okay, thank you guys so much for being here with me today. Uh, next stream is tomorrow night. We're doing more of this game. Uh, we'll probably tackle like, um, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Probably tackle, so I wanna know about Q more, so probably some of this, as much as I hate Eric. We'll probably go for some of that. Let me make sure I save. I think I already saved, but I'm going to save again. Um, okay, if you're headed off, have a wonderful night. I'm going to do my thank yous real quick. But thank you guys so much for being here with me tonight. I hope you have a wonderful night. Um, maybe we'll have music eventually. Thinking about it. All right. Maybe we'll roll credits. Thinking about it. Jesus, everything's taking a sweet time today, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks for this pile of shift. You're welcome. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you to Spellcaster for the host. Thank you to Sucks for the follow. Welcome to the Miro's Heroes. Jora, thank you for the gifting a sub to Asmi. Asmi, welcome to the Miro's Superheroes. Jora, thank you for the resub. Happy two months. And uh, while we're offline, uh, Enigma Dawn, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Miro's Heroes. I hope to see you soon. 
Um, all right, we're gonna go raid Salty Man. He's playing BattleTech. I don't know what that means, but uh, Salty is he's he's very salty. He's a salty man. He's salty, so you don't have to be. So that's his pitch. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go see him. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. If you're headed out, if you're following me with the raid, bring your hearts. Uh, bring your Amir Day and Amo emotes to spam in his chat. And I will see you guys over there. And I will see you guys tomorrow as well. 7 p.m. MST for more Zero Time Dilemma. Have a good night, guys.